why you're here? Are you here to listen to me sing to you? I didn't think so. I know you're here because you want to know what happened on the quiz. What did I do right? What are the things that I can work on? Some feedback. So that's why I'm here for you today. So a couple of things. A lot of you did very well. I'm sure you saw your quizzes and you're, but you're still wondering like, what? Why isn't it perfect? Uh, most of you did very well. I mean, all across the board, there were three, about three main things that a lot of you guys made errors on. And I want to discuss that with you today. Okay. Uh, so number one, I want to address what combination means. Combination pija, as you know, means a pija with everything, right? Veggies, uh, meats, everything all together. So when there was a problem that asked you for a combination of addition and multiplication, if you remember properly, I don't want to say too much because there are a few of you, you know who you are, A-N and M-C and H-R-H have not taken the quiz yet. Uh, so I don't want to say too much, but without giving it away, I want to mention how there's a, f if we say combination of multiplication and addition, you should understand that it should have both, not two separate mutually exclusive expressions, but it should have both in one expression. So that was one thing. Uh, another thing that I took a note on is, um, so, okay, so when we say put something into, when we say put right a matrix into RREF or reduce row echelon, we're not always solving a system. It can just be just practicing or writing a matrix or putting it into a reduced row echelon form. So you don't need to pretend like you're solving and you don't need to conclude that it's inconsistent or consistent or uh, dependent independent. It's not that. That's not what we're asking. We're saying put this into REF form or reduced row echelon form. So you should, uh, you should know when you're done with that. Okay, you should know when you're done writing RREF. Um, so that was another issue that I saw. And you'll see that on your quiz. And if you are wondering, Ms. Chang, I'm still confused about what you're saying, please email me and I can actually give you more, um, more, I guess, detailed, uh, more intimate feedback just for you. Okay? Just for you! Wait. Uh, okay. I feel like there's something up there. Okay. Also, uh, number, um, there's a, I don't want to say the numbers. Okay. Uh, but there was a question, okay? Now, mm, there was a problem where you did not address the exact problem properly. It was, I'm not going to lie to you, it was a communication question. Uh, we were not asking you about multiplication of matrices. It was mainly about a property, a given property of multiplication of matrices. I'm not going to say which property it was. But you didn't address that. Most of you did not address that. You addressed a multiplication of matrices. And you'd explain like rows and columns, how they have to agree. But that's not what the question asked. The question asked, is this particular property of multiplication of matrices, is it always true or false? But a lot of you did not address that. A simple example would have been good enough, but a lot of you guys went on and on, and some of you guys were too verbose. I took off points because I'm listen. I'm not ready to, or I'm not wanting to read like uh, like a whole page of an answer. I'm looking for just simple, short and sweet and concise answers. Okay. Um, if you write too much, I told you before that I'm thinking that you're writing too much because you don't know what you're talking about. Um, so that was the last thing. So three things. Definition of combination of addition and multiplication might have confused you, okay? Combination means all together at once, not two separate entities. Another thing is reduced row echelon doesn't always necessarily mean that you solve a linear system and you're looking for an answer or you're looking for a solving a linear system, okay? Number, last thing, a certain property of multiplication of matrices was asked, not can you multiply matrices. That's not the question that I was addressed. So those are the three things that most people miss. And you'll see that little points here and there on your quizzes for communication, for content knowledge and application. Those were the things that you, uh, like, you know, lost a few points on, okay? All right, if you have specific questions, please let me know. I'm always here for you. And if you like this post, please like it and subscribe me, okay? I'll see you soon. Bye.